Hello. Welcome to a time to pray in secret again. I want to pray today Psalm 83, specifically from verse 12. And I'm calling this prayer, Have they not said, Let us take for ourselves the pastors of God? And I invite you to join me, to pray with me, if you like. O oh Lord God Almighty, I exalt you upon the throne of my life. Elohim, El Shaddai, Adonai, God Most High, have your enemies not said, let us take for ourselves the pastures of God? Have your enemies who hate you, O Lord God, not lifted up their heads in tumult against you? Have they not shifted the blame of their own acts of destruction and falsely accused your people in order to deceive those who are not, those who are on the outside observing, those who do not have clear understanding? Have they not taken crafty counsel together against your people? Have they not said in their hearts, let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel be remembered no more? Have not Ishmael and Esau carried a bitterness and hatred against you for your covenant with Isaac and Jacob for ages? For I am reminded of your covenant this day with Abraham, Isaac, and their descendant Jacob, which is written and Abraham called the name of the place the Lord will provide, or Yehovah Yireh, as it is said to this day, in the mount of the Lord it shall be provided. Then the angel of the Lord called to Abraham a second time out of heaven and said, by myself I have sworn, says the Lord, because you have done this thing and have not withheld your son, your only son, blessing I will bless you and multiplying I will multiply your descendants as the stars of the heaven and as the sand which is on the seashore and your descendants shall possess the gate of their enemies. In your seed, all the nations of the earth shall be blessed because you have obeyed my voice. And Father God Almighty, I remember how Jacob humbled himself in your sight and how you changed his name to Israel, a name to be remembered for all generations, as the account is written, then Jacob said, O God of my father Abraham and God of my father Isaac, the Lord who said to me, return to your country and to your family and I will deal well with you. I am not worthy of the least of all the mercies and of all the truth which you have shown your servant. For I crossed over this Jordan with my staff, and now I have become two companies. Deliver me, I pray, from the hand of my brother, from the hand of Esau, for I fear him lest he come and attack me and the mother with the children. 
For you said, I will surely treat you well and make your descendants as the sand of the sea, which cannot be numbered for multitude. Then Jacob was left alone, and a man wrestled with him until the breaking of day. Now when he saw that he did not prevail against him, he touched the socket of his hip, and the socket of Jacob's hip was out of joint as he wrestled with him. And he said, let me go for the day breaks. But he said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. So he said to him, what is your name? He said, Jacob. And he said, your name shall no longer be Jacob, but Israel. For you have struggled with God and with men and have prevailed. Then Jacob asked, saying, Tell me your name, I pray. And he said, Why is it that you ask about my name? And he blessed him there. And I thank you, Lord God Almighty, for your word and the scriptures, for these records of your covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Israel. Remember now, O Lord God, your covenant. And see now how Edom and the Ishmaelites seek to have a confederacy against you. See how these also are joined to them against you, O God, Moab, the Hagrites, Gibal, Ammon, Amalek, Philistia, Tyre, Assyria. Arise, O Lord God Almighty, mighty one of Israel, and let your enemies be scattered now, that they may know, that they may know that you are the most high over all the earth. I exalt your name, O God, Adonai. Glory be to God in the highest. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, I pray under his sacrifice, blood covenant atonement. Amen and amen.